old coverage criteria for power wheelchairs and scooters was that your patient needed to be otherwise bed or chair confined in order to qualify through Medicare. This has since been replaced with a new national policy called the National Coverage Determination. The National Coverage Determination, which became effective May 5, 2005, affects all mobility assistive equipment. This includes canes, crutches, walkers, manual wheelchairs, scooters, and power wheelchairs. The NCD ridded the industry of the antiquated bed or chair confined and replaced it with the modernized policy of ability to perform activities of daily living, including toileting, grooming, bathing, dressing, and eating. The primary reason for providing power mobility is to compensate for the patient's mobility limitations within the home environment. When choosing a mobility solution for your patient, certain criteria will need to be considered. If your patient has a mobility limitation, causing the inability to perform one or more mobility-related activities of daily living in the home, they may qualify. A mobility limitation is one that prevents them from accomplishing their activities of daily living entirely, at a reasonable determined heightened risk, or within a reasonable time frame. It must be determined that the mobility deficit cannot be sufficiently resolved by the prescription of a cane or walker. It is important that you also consider the use of a manual wheelchair before prescribing a power mobility device, taking into account your patient's strength, endurance, range of motion, coordination, and absence or deformity in one or both upper extremities. In order to be considered for a power mobility device, they will need to be able to safely operate the power chair or scooter. It is critical to determine if your patient's home environment will support the use of a power mobility device. Your mobility supplier will conduct a home assessment to make that determination, taking into account adequate access and maneuverability space which must be considered for a scooter. If your patient has sufficient strength to operate a scooter and their home environment has the adequate access, maneuvering space, and terrain for the operation, then that patient qualifies for a scooter. If your patient's physical condition and or their home environment will not allow for the safe use of a scooter and the additional features provided by a power chair are needed to allow them to perform one or more activities of daily living in the home, then that patient may qualify for a power wheelchair.